Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F is the 2015 follow-up to 2013's Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, and it is a excellent sequel, putting a lot more focus onto the side characters like Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, uh, Gohan, and Piccolo, and take bringing Frieza back into the main fold. Frieza is my favorite anime villain of all time. Uh, he is just evil because he knows he's strong and it is amazing. I'll go into it more in another video because I've always wanted to make a Frieza uh, Goku video. And uh, as I'm never going to get any monetization off of anything coming from fun, uh, Funimation or Toei, it, I may as well just use their foot. They're allowing me to use the footage, but it's ineligible for monetization, which is fine. I don't care. I like talking about Dragon Ball. However, Resurrection F is uh, takes place after Battle of Gods, of course, being as is a sequel, and Frieza is resurrected by some of his Frieza Force uh, via the use of the Dragon Balls, and Frieza is back with a vengeance. But for the first time ever in his life, he trains and unlocks a new golden form. Of course, we know he's surpassed that now in the manga for Super, but he now has a new golden form and is stronger than ever. I think a lot of people... Um, more casual Dragon Ball watchers don't really realize how powerful Frieza was and is. Frieza is incredibly powerful, and if he if he'd have trained from a very young age like Goku did, he would be near unstoppable. He has got such power, and the fact that he's just evil is just the icing on the cake. Now, of course. Uh, the action is fantastic. It also brings in Jacko, the intergalactic patrolman, into the fold as for continuity. His I've I've owned his manga for years. It's just a one-off one that Akira Toriyama did, and it takes place before the events of Dragon Ball. It features uh, Tights, Bulma's older sister, and Bulma does make an appearance, being very very young, and so does a little Goku as well. Check out the manga if you haven't. I hope they make a movie about it one day. It's it's a really good read. However. With, with, with this one, it also introduces a new uh, transformation for Goku and Vegeta. And v once again, Vegeta does get some time to shine. And Beerus and Whis also make an appearance, loving the Earth food that Bulma... So, like, lovingly... Well, not lovingly, just to help save them. She makes the food for them. Now, if you're looking for a fantastic, uh, action-packed anime, then this is definitely the movie for you. It's pretty much action from beginning to end and has a lot of really cool scenes involving characters and using their trademark moves from the animation and manga, and just kicks a whole lot of ass, really. Of course, Gohan, as we all know, was neutered, um, but has returned to form. I prefer his, uh, in the Tournament of Power arc in, in the Dragon Ball Super, I prefer the manga outcome to the uh, anime series outcome. Uh, Gohan is completely badass. And, of course, he gets a mo uh, more soul movie dedicated to him with Superhero, but I'll get to that one when I get there. But, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. I was so happy to see Frieza back. I think it's a really good movie. It's probably my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie. Um, pretty much up there tied with the Broly movie, uh, which is phenomenal and has the best uh, art for sure. But this one, all the characters and cast are back. Sean Shamal, Christopher Sabat. And all the other, I'm, I'm not going to list them all off, like massive respect to all of them, but I mean, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a Goku and Vegeta man. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching and let me know in the comments down below what your favourite Dragon Ball movie is. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'm not fighting at full power, not yet. Full power! Yeah!